Mm-hmm. I bet. Just a minute. It... Good. I... Unfortunately. Bite me. Mm-hmm. I bet. Just a minute. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel's allowed. I mean, he's out. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Bye bye Good morning. You look like hell. Did you have another nightmare last night? Yes, because having nightmares is what I do, apparently. Seventh damn night in a row. I told you, it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw with your karma. Unfortunately, I don't think my readers would go for a horror novel about fluffy bunny rabbits. So voodoo it is. You mean your reader? She lives in Wisconsin, doesn't she? Bite me. Hey, what goes on in your bed stays in your bed, as far as I'm concerned. I have messages for you when you want them. Today's newspaper is on the counter. Times dated June 18, 1993. The Aquarius horoscope says, potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. Hmm, <laughs> right. The box has Gabriel's name on it. Written in his grandmother's handwriting, Gabriel's father's old sketchbook sits on the top.
the books on the table have been chosen for their special appeal. Recent fiction by the biggies. In other words, nothing written by Gabriel. Gracie's resume. She was way overqualified. And also the only person who applied. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. Not so lucky for the rabbit, was it? I'm going to take the tweezers for a bit. Good. You're beginning to look a bit scruffy. My spare motorcycle gloves. Local interest piece on the store. It didn't garner the sympathy sales I was hoping for. I practically own stock in these guys. a cash register to examine the take, or in the case of St. George's books, the mistake. It's a $20 gift certificate left over from yet another dismal failure of a promotion. I trust you can live without this old gift certificate. Knock yourself out. Gabriel, that's all the change I have. Touch it and you can kiss your hand goodbye. Would I do that to you? Don't mind if I do. Do what? Oh, nothing. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Did you find any good voodoo resources for me? The best in the city are supposedly the Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in the French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. If you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. Do you have messages for me? Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talkative, isn't he? Especially with you. What did he want? He told me to tell you that his mother's maiden name is Humphrey and that he left some photos for you at the station, at the front desk. It's about time. Let me guess. This has to do with the voodoo murders, right? Some kind of inside police information? Did you tell him you put him in your new book? Maybe. A writer has a certain obligation to his readers, you know. Gabriel, you know you'll never put him in your book. Your main character is a female orthodontist. You're going to be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull with a really big... Uh, that's enough. Thanks. Do you have messages for me? You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter. He was calling from Germany. He told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. Call in Germany? Like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. Do you have messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great. We had a nice little chat about you. Grace. Don't worry. I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. 
She adores you anyway. She's my girl. And she sent over that box on the table for you. Do you have messages for me? Dana called and Susie left a message about a lawsuit. Tossum. Okie dokie. Well, that's all the messages for now. What do you know about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop and museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. What do you know about voodoo? I've told you all I know. Sorry I can't be more help. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the papers, same as you. What do you know about the voodoo murders? You won't get far questioning me about it, Sherlock. What can you tell me about Narlins? I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. What else can you tell me about Narlins? You're the native. Don't ask me. Tell me about yourself, Grace. What do you want to know? How come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. As soon as I get it, I'll let you know, okay? How do you like working at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books. And it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. What do you do after work? I either go to my oil painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. You can go overboard with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. Oh, I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Works for me. How old are you? Old enough to know about men like you. Nothing, I guess. Never mind. So... What's new, Grace? Your use of mathematics, for one thing. These books are unbelievable. What can I say? I refuse to be bound by rules. The strap marks on your bedpost speak otherwise. I might be able to use this black shirt. I might need a flashlight. I'll take this hair gel. You never know when you need a touch up. going out. Don't hurry back on my account. Posted on the door of the museum is a sign saying closed. Their hours list that they will open again tomorrow. The Dixieland Drugstore is closed until tomorrow morning. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? 
I was supposed to pick up some photos from Detective Mosley at the front desk. Is that right? And who are you? My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. Yeah, I got something for you, all right. As soon as you're done talking, I'll give it to you. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's out at a crime scene. Sorry. Where's the crime scene? Is it related to the voodoo murders? Crime scene information is police confidential. We don't need any more looky-loos than are probably already there. Come on, you can tell me where the crime scene is. Look, I know the papers got everybody stirred up about these killings, but that don't make it public information. Back off. So this is a new voodoo murder then? Hey, I didn't say that. You'll read all about it in the papers tomorrow. I'm sure. Please tell me where the crime scene is. Look, buddy, you keep it up, and there'll be a crime scene right here. What do you know about voodoo? Me? Nothing. I'm a Catholic boy. What can you tell me about the voodoo murders? I'm not allowed to give out information on police cases. What can you tell me about the voodoo murders? Hey, buddy, do I look like the kind of lowlife that'd betray my sacred oath to this department? I don't know. What would that kind of lowlife look like? Like hamburger meat if I got a hold of them. Kind of like what you're gonna look like in about five seconds. Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. What can you tell me about Nolan? I'll tell you. I'm glad as hell it's not Mardi Gras. If it weren't for that one month a year, being a cop in New Orleans would be a real pleasure. As it is, I'd rather stick behind this desk. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Best food in the world. You can get it right here in New Orleans. Mufaletta sandwiches. Mmm, mmm. Beignets, good Cajun coffee. Yep. A man can die happy in this city. It's practically guaranteed. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. I told you, he's not here. Tell me about yourself. Who, me? I'm the desk sergeant, Frick. Why? Frick? That's right. You got a problem with that? Not at all. Here's that envelope for you, Gabriel Knight. Thanks. Gabriel opens the manila envelope and finds two photographs. The photograph of Mosley was apparently taken upon his graduation from the police academy. He had hair then. One of the photos from Mosley is an official voodoo murders crime scene shot, a graphic close-up of a victim. Images haunt the pages of Philip Knight's sketchbook, the way they must have haunted his mind. The images touch a deep chord in Gabriel. So familiar are they, that he finds it hard to believe they aren't from his own subconscious. police officer is either off duty or patrolling the park, or both. Good day, officer. Yeah, you too. You Keep white moving. face geek, you wanna eat my fist? 
there's a police band radio on that bike. Mind if I use your radio? What are you nuts? Forget it. Touchy. Anyone seen Joe? A police officer is either off duty or patrolling the park, or both. Could I ask you a few questions? Not now, buddy. I'm busy. I should have noticed that. Thanks. Yeah, right. Well, I never! Leave me alone, you, you, you man! White face geek, you want to eat my fist? Cut that out. I told you to stop that. All right, mister, you want some of this? Why, you little... Gabriel picks up the headset and listens. Get away from that bike. Sorry. Mostly. Huh? Knight, you wiener. I told you not to call me that. Feeling jumpy? Who, me? Don't be stupid. How'd you find me? Oh, I was just driving by. Uh-huh. Well, I guess I can let you see it for the book. But don't tell anyone, huh? Definitely another voodoo murder. Same M.O. and no freaking clues. We're still waiting on an ID for the body. Oh, that's disgusting. Isn't this a rather 
public area for this kind of thing? Yeah, they're freaking ghosts, these guys. Lakeshore Drive isn't exactly the 10 Expressway, but it is open to the public. No reports of nothing. Now, who the hell is that? <clears throat> Good day, Miss Getty. What's going on, officer? Detective Mosley, ma'am. Uh, we got a little problem here, but nothing for you to be concerned about. I see. Thank you, Detective. And good day, gentlemen. I'm in love. Forget it. That's Molly Getty. She's about as far out of your reach as the moon. Probably on her way to meet some guy with a yacht right now. Near here? The lake's a popular place for country clubs. If she's out here a lot, maybe she saw something or heard something. Nah, nobody ever sees or hears nothing. I told you. Besides, you just don't go around bothering people like her. We've about wrapped it up, sir. Well, let's get the meat wagon moving, then. Stick around and take notes for the book if you want. Watch out for the muck and the water moccasins, though. If you want to talk, I'll be at the station tomorrow. Thanks. There's a pattern to the lines in the sand, but only one small area is clearly defined. Hmm, let me try to copy this down. a lot of blood. No, oh, I've got no way to take that with me, and I don't want to. Looks like there was something here. I should take a closer look. Something small and iridescent is barely visible in the sand. It looks like a scale of some sort. It looks like a scale of some sort. Gabriel carefully uses the tweezers to take the small, iridescent scale. I think it's a snake scale. But it beats the hell out of me what kind. The banks of Lake Pontchartrain are rich with clay deposits. I'll take some of this clay with me. It's me. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? Could you see what you can find out about a woman named Malia Getty? Hmm. The name Getty sounds familiar. What's your interest in her? Oh, just, you know, stuff about the voodoo murders. If you can get an address... Mm-hmm. The murders, right. 
I'll see what I can find out. Well, oh, it's about closing time. So it is. Good night, Gracie. Good night, Gabriel. And try not to dream, okay? <laughs>